Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A purchase order is a helpful way to ensure you purchase the correct items from your vendors. To create a purchase order, click the Create icon and select Purchase Order from the Vendors heading. This will open the Purchase Order menu. The first option at the top left-hand side of the page is to choose a vendor from the drop-down box. To the immediate right of the drop-down box is an email text box. This text box will be populated with the email address of the vendor that you chose if that data was entered when you created the associated vendor record. Directly below the Choose a Vendor drop-down box is another drop-down box to select the status of the purchase order if needed, either open or closed. The next section contains a mailing address field which will be populated with the address of the vendor that you selected. To the right is a Ship To drop-down box that will allow you to select a customer to ship to if applicable. Otherwise, the shipping address field will have your company address as the shipping address. To the right of the Ship To field is a Purchase Order Date text box that will have the current date entered as the default. Below this field is a Ship Via field where you can enter a shipping carrier preference. Next is the Account Details Split Line list. Here you can attribute an amount to a specific account, for example a Supplies account, although this would rarely be used in this form as it defeats the purpose of receiving inventory items with a purchase order. Below the account details list, you will find an item details list. Here you will choose the products or services that you are purchasing from the vendor. Below both the account details and item details lists are an add lines and clear all lines button group that allow you to expand the list or clear all the information. The next section is a Your Message to Vendor text box. You can enter a message to your vendor here. For example, you can request extra packing material in your shipment. The next text box is a memo field that you can use to enter a memo to yourself about this purchase order. Finally, there is an attachment section. Here you can attach a file up to 25 megabytes to your purchase order. Across the bottom of the screen are the Cancel, Clear, Print, Make Recurring, and Save buttons, as well as a drop-down Save and Send, Save and New, and Save and Close button. Clicking the Print button will display a pop-up preview PDF of your purchase order. You can click the Print icon to open your Print dialog box. You can click the Make Recurring button to open the Recurring Purchase Order menu, where you will be able to set the specific attributes if creating a recurring purchase order. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.